Hi, this is a video to help complete beginners on the violin learn how to find um, the basic notes on the D and the A strings. So, uh, first of all, the thing you need to know is the musical alphabet. Uh, we start with A, of course, and then we go up in pitch, we go higher when we go forward in the alphabet. So, this is an A, for example. Well, there, there we go, there's an A. Um, and as we go higher, it goes to the next alphabet letter, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then after G, we don't go on to H, but we go up to A again. So this is an A, and this is A. So we find, oh, we have two A's now. So when I teach, I call this one the low A, so students know, and then this is open A. And we can keep on going from there. So we go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, we get to another G, and then this is another A. There we go. Um, and so we have a high A there. So again, I'll just do it without stopping. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and we can just keep on going. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on, until we run out of space on our fingerboard. And you can also go backwards with the musical alphabet, and it's important that you know how to do this. So we'll take G and go backwards from G. I'll do this slowly. G, F, E, D, C, B, A. And then once you get to A, the next note down, um, there's no alphabet letter before A, but we just go back to G again. G, F, E, D, C, B, A. So that's the musical alphabet going up and down. Make sure that you can say A through G going up and going down. You can also go to a standard sized piano, 88 keys, and find the lowest note on that piano. That's going to be an A, actually. And if you just go in order on the white keys, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and just keep going, um, you'll see where those notes are on a piano. So that's the musical alphabet. Now we have to actually find these notes on the instrument. And I like to focus just on two strings at a time. So because I teach um, instruments in mixed classes, I teach D and A string. For the violin. However, if you're playing violin by yourself um, in lessons, you're going to want to learn your A string and your E string first and then add the D string to it. Um, and different books, depending on whether the books are geared towards classroom versus whether they're geared toward private lessons, um, we'll, we'll teach that differently. So we have to know what our fingers are. Um, this is your thumb, of course. This is your first finger. Index finger is first finger. Middle finger is second finger. Ring finger is third finger. Pinky is fourth finger. This is different than piano if you're a piano player. So once again, first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. And then let's mix that up. So we have, this is just a random order. First, third, second, fourth, third, first, fourth, second, third, first. So just mix that up and make sure you know, okay, as soon as you think of a number, you know which finger you're talking about. So that's step one. Um, by now, if you're watching this video, I hope that you've watched my aunt's video, which shows you how to um, find your open strings. But just to review on, on the violin, we have the E string is the highest and thinnest string. A string is the second string over. D string is the third string over. And the G string is the fourth string over. And we're going to start today with the A string because it's the simplest. It starts on A. Um, in order to play, any note, you need to know which string you're on, you need to know which finger you're going to use, and you need to know which uh, spot on the string up and down that finger needs to go. And that's why I put these tapes on my violin here so you can see in the video where those notes are. Um, and then there's one more thing you need to know, which is actually the most important thing that I haven't said yet in order to play a note correctly. You need to know how it sounds. So you have to have the sound in your ear too, your inner ear, and then we match what's in our inner ear with what we hear from the instrument. So I'm going to show you now um, up close um, where each finger goes and uh, what that note name is. And then I'm going to drill you. So I'll give you a chance to echo me in this video. I'll play the note, then you play it back. And I'm going to do everything with um, Mississippi stop, stop rhythm, which is the one that goes like this. So before we do that though, let's just find, um, just orient ourselves. So um, have your pegs facing up 
and you can look at your violin like this. Um, you should, you might have tapes that a teacher put on your instrument, or you might not have any tapes at all. Um, if you don't have tapes, just imagine where they are. Um, and these tapes are where your fingers go. Now, they're for reference only, they're for checking. You shouldn't be looking at your fingers while you play, and also, um, your ear should be more demanding than your eye. So, like, let's say my finger's there but it doesn't sound quite right, well, the tape might not be perfect. So, make sure that you're hearing the best possible note. So, with the pegs on top, the closest tape to the pegs I call the first tape. And then we have this one here, this is the second tape. And then this is the third tape right here. And they correspond on violin with your fingers. First finger goes on the first tape. Second finger goes on the second tape. Third finger goes on the third tape. And that's, that's how we do it. So, let's actually practice on our A string first and We'll just put our first finger down and we'll pick it up. So, um, make sure you have a good relaxed arm with a straight wrist down. This is called the waterfall wrist. And make sure that your fingers are curved and loose and relaxed. One of the most um, pervasive bad habits of starting violin and viola players is to do this. So make sure that that wrist stays down. Uh, it's really important that you're secure here in order to do that. Because if you're not secure here, you're going to be more tempted to, to squeeze or hold it in a funny way like that. So you might want to practice this kind of thing a couple times, some sliding like this. Um, a big principle here is that we need to have round fingers. Okay, so we're going to find our A string, echo, make sure you have your A string. Again. So there's the A string, second one over, and now we're going to put our first finger down on the first tape. That's the tape closest to the pegs. And you have to push it down on your fingertip. And you can see here the shape of my finger. That is nice and round. And that you could put you could put a penny right here and it would stay flat. So we have these it's sort of like a plateau. So now our first finger is down on the A string. Let's play that note and see how it sounds. Alright, and so that's one note higher than A. So we're going to go forward in the alphabet A, B. That's a B. So play B again. Same thing we just did. Now go back to open A. Now first tape, B. Alright, and I hope you're echoing along with me. So now we're going to put our second finger onto the second tape, right there. So that's one note higher than that. So open, first, second. And I'll show it to you this way too so you can see. Open, first, second. Let's see how that sounds. Alright, and now let's work up to it. So we're going to play open A. First finger, B. Second finger, and I didn't tell you the name of this one. This is C sharp. It's not just a C, but it's a C sharp. Again. And now we have to get our third, um, and for, for today, final fingering, and that's going to be a D right here. So third finger on the third tape. I'll show it to you there. So here we go. Play that note, see how it sounds. Again. Alright, so let's go up the A string. I'm going to have you echo me. I'm going to say, uh, this time I'm going to say the finger number, and then I'll do it again saying the note names. So here is open. Open means zero fingers. First finger. Second finger. Third finger. And all those fingers correspond with the tape. First finger, first tape. Second finger, second tape. Third finger, third tape. Now, we're at the top here. Let's go down. So play third finger again. Second. First. Open. 
right, so now we're going to go up and down again, but this time I'm going to say finger, instead of finger numbers, I'm going to say uh, alphabet letter names for the notes. And the idea is you really need to get these alphabet names in your head really easily, and especially with the way I teach with mixed groups, violas, violins, and cellos, because cellos have different fingerings, different finger numbers than violins. So it's really easy for everybody if I can say the note name, because then, then everybody knows exactly what we're doing. So here is open A again, no fingers. Here's B. Here's C sharp. And here's D. Um, now, some people get confused when they say D here. So this is a high D. And they think, well, we, what, this, what about my D string? Well, this is open D here. So they're two different Ds, but they're the same alphabet letter. So just to clear up that confusion, I'm going to call this high one, high D. So uh, let's do that again with note names going up. A. Now B. Now C sharp. D. High D rather. Now play high D again. C sharp. B. And then open A. So those are the A string notes. Um, the next step is to do them in mixed up order. So now I'm going to do them in mixed up order and um, see how you do. So we'll start with open A. C sharp. Do A again. And now do high D. B. Now high D. Open A. C sharp. If you found that difficult, I would recommend going back and trying it again more than once, maybe come back um, in a few days. Also, if you found that easy, do it with your eyes closed. And then if you found that really easy, do it on your own and just think of the notes as you play through them randomly and even say them out loud. The act of saying them out loud helps you learn them better. So now we're going to talk about the D string notes. It's the same way of thinking we're going to apply what we learned on the A string to the D string. So the D string is the third string down. So it's right here for the violin. Um, third string over, it sounds like this. Make sure you have your D string. And we're just gonna put our fingers down in the same order. Oh, my shoulder just came off. It's always doing that. Okay, here we go. So, open D, no fingers. Now D string, first finger. And think to yourself, what note is that? I'm not going to tell you just yet. Think, think to yourself what it might be. Here's first finger on the D string. Now find the second finger on the D string. And now find the third finger on the D string. And now we're going to go down. So play third finger on the D string again. Second finger. First finger now, and then open, no fingers. One question a lot of people ask me early on is, do I keep the finger down if I put the other ones down? So in other words, do I do this or do I do this? And the answer is keep them down for now, but don't squeeze too tight. Later on, when you get more advanced, um, you'll only be playing one finger at a time because you need to do this vibrato motion. But 
for now, as a beginner, put them down and keep them down until you lift up. So let's do the, let's see if you guessed the note names correctly. Here's open D, for no fingers. Now first finger is an E, so play E. And this is not to be confused with your open E string, which is also an E an octave higher. So first finger D string is an E. And now second finger on the D string is an F sharp. Do it again. And now third finger on the D string is a G. And that one's not to be confused with your open G string, which is down here. So that's, I, I call that open G when I'm teaching, and if I just say G without saying open, then I'm referring to three on the D string. So that's, that's regular, or sometimes I call it like, you know, like regular gasoline, regular G. All right, so let's drill those notes with just alphabet names now. D, open. step is now to mix those up and quiz you on them. So let's do that. Open D, F sharp, E, here's G, F sharp, G, Next step, you've done your D string notes and you've done your A string notes, is let's do random mixed up order and the note could be either on the D string or the A string. So here we go. This first time I'm going to do a pattern that's predictable. See if you can guess what the pattern is. Open D. Open A. E. Alright, did you guess what the pattern was? I was just going from the low string to the high string with, with no fingers, then I did first finger, then I did second finger, and then I did third finger. This time, I'm not going to do it in such a predictable pattern, it will be more mixed up. Find a G. Find a B. D. C sharp. Open A. E. F sharp. Open D. Open A. High D. B. So that was sort of random. Now I'm going to drill the notes in what may seem like a mixed up order, but it's actually a song. See if you can guess which song it is. Open D. Open A. B. Open A. G. I'm sure. figured out what song that is, and thank you for watching.